Unrest and violence continued in Portland, this time during the daylight hours as groups clashed downtown on this day 86 of the protests in Portland. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Wayne Haverly. Violence broke out during a protest with right and left leaning groups in front of the Justice Center earlier this afternoon. Portland police asked those two groups to stay on opposite sides of the street, but it descended into chaos when the groups came together. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live there right now with all the details. What's happening out there now, Jennifer? Well, Wayne, you can see behind me there's still some groups remaining in Chapman Square and Lounsdale Square. I'm going to step out of the way. Smaller numbers, though, than what we saw earlier. There were hundreds of people near the Justice Center this afternoon. And as you might imagine, things got really heated early on as the two groups began arguing and yelling at one another. And the pepper spray, boy, it was definitely unleashed today, just flying in the air uh, over the crowds. People on the right-leaning side of this protest rally uh, said they were there for a variety of reasons, to support police and Donald Trump. Others said it was a protest against Marxism, or still others said against Antifa, counter protesters who support the Black Lives Matter movement, and those who oppose Trump and others like Rose City Antifa also showed up as well. Police did not intervene early on, as we've seen in protests past, and fighting broke out between the two groups in skirmishes that uh, went on and off for around three hours. Uh, some people carried weapons such as sticks, bats, bear mace, and paintball guns to fight against those they opposed. We saw at least one woman who was being treated by a medic for a facial injury. That injury appeared to occur after uh, some men wearing Proud Boy shirts were confronted by people in black as they attempted to leave the protest. She took two pretty good hits to the face, has pretty bad facial laceration. I mean, there's a puddle of blood this big down there. And I got fire and rescue off the riot van to go help her, so she's being treated now. Uh, after the uh, right-leading protest group left, BLM and counter-protesters ended up in Terry Shrunk Plaza. Police announced an unlawful assembly on behalf of federal officers there and asked everyone to leave. DHS officers then pushed people out of the plaza using what sounded like pepper ball munitions. So tonight, protesters remain out here, uh, not in the large numbers we saw, uh, but still, uh, you're still very active. And then also we have uh, the snack van behind me. Uh, that also has its windows broken out. Uh, there was some, uh, quite some activity going on around what we've come to know as the snack van. It's at all the protests. Of course, it's a BLM supporting uh, group that runs that van. You can see the windows are broken out. Uh, that's just an example of all the damage that happened earlier when those two groups collided. Wayne? Yeah, 